Welcome to Tool Academy, a place for disgruntled girlfriends to enrol their out-of-line boyfriends to cure them of their toolish ways. Twelve unhappy girlfriends, twelve relationships on the brink of breakdown, and twelve absolute tools. But these tools didn't enrol themselves into Tool Academy. We convinced them to compete for the fictitious title of Britain's Ultimate Lad. But there was a catch, and our lads were in for a big surprise. Welcome to Tool Academy. And welcome the ladies who enrolled you. Over the coming weeks, we'll see 12 tools go back to school to learn how to be the perfect boyfriend. Some will fall by the wayside. It's all bullshit, mate. This is shit. And others face being expelled if they don't make the grade. You are just a tool. <gasps> oh, my God. Welcome to Tool Academy, where tools become men. Say hello to our balls and their chains. Dave, massive tool, and his massively cheesed off girlfriend Lindsay. Lee, lazy tool, and his hard working homegirl Jade. Danny, jealous tool, and his embarrassed other half Becky. Huss, tipsy tool, and his teetotal baby mama Jill. Harry, geezer tool, and his princess Faye. Pete, poser tool and his fiance, the English Rose, Becky. Bobby, stoner tool. He's probably forgotten, but that's his girlfriend, Kirsty. Jake, temper tool, and his battle-scarred other half, Peter. Liam, brandy tool, and his doubting sweetheart, Tony. And Joe, twinkle tool, and his rollerblading partner, Abby. Previously on Tool Academy, the cracks begin to show. In his eyes, I've always been like the bitch. Swearing at everyone, calling everyone a wanker. Just switched it. Didn't know it was going to be like oh, I've been going mad as well. He's, he's cracked, that's it, he's gone. Is your cousin or what? Fuck this, man. Well, who is someone to judge me for what I'm doing? Just pack your but fuck. I am. And there was not one but two departures in the first ever tall expulsion. You are also a tall. Oh, it's Chris. It's fucking Chris. No way. This week, the Tools and their girlfriends will get to grips with a key element in any relationship. Lesson two at Tool Academy is trust. OK. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I hope you're all enjoying being in the classroom. That's it, she's found it. <laughs> <laughs> so, today's lesson is about trust. Now, I'm going to open it up to the floor. You guys tell me, what do you think trust's all about? Why do you think it's important? Who would like to start? It's the foundation of your relationship, really. Mm. I mean, without trust, then there's no reason why you two should be together. I think that's, like, the thing. Joe is an honest person, and Joe will tell me. But then again, because he does tell me that makes me lack in trust. Oh, it's so complicated. I'll tell you everything. Yeah, but I'm, I don't know that, do I? But I do. I don't keep anything from you. Bobby. To be honest with you, before we come on the show, I didn't really trust Kirsty. Right. Because, like, <clears throat> I'd sit down and have a smoke and that, then I'd be paranoid. You finally admitted it. Yeah, 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 that's it, that's it. You know, I have a lot of doubt in myself, and I doubt that Lee loves me as much as I love Lee, and that all interlinks with trust as well. Everyone up there 
wants that trust badge, especially me because trust has been an issue in our relationship. Danny, how are you? You've been a bit quiet. I don't like this subject. Sorry? I don't like this subject. Why is that? Because I've got like major trust issues. Right. <laughs> yeah. He started getting really jealous and, and paranoid about other guys and like that it just turned into a regular thing. If I get it into my head that like she's flirting with a guy and she's talking to him, I'm like I can start to get a little bit. Once it gets into my head, I can't drop it, and it affects it so much that we, we, uh, we'll, we have a lot of arguments over it, a lot. Right, right. In the classroom and everything, everyone sort of had, had their chance to speak up and, you know, get it out, of, get it off their chest as such. When I get my phone, there's numbers being deleted and stuff, and they're just friends and that. What do you say to that, Pete? Do you delete numbers off her yeah, phone? Yeah, I have done, because uh, due to the start of it, you know, I know, I know them sort of people. And to be honest, in, 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 for, for me, these, these, these you know, guys—they're just friends, though. They're not—they're not just friends. They were they friends. They are just friends. Who, tr who try to flirt? They don't try flirting, people. Well, they, they do. No, they don't. They just—he thinks they're flirting, but they're not. Liam. Well, I 100% trust Tony. And I don't trust you. Obviously, she doesn't 100% trust me. It all comes down to trust because and that's what we argue about and that's why we're always saying we're always splitting up and it's not worth being together because we're arguing that much and I want to be able to trust him because I love him to pieces but it's a big thing with me, I can't, I can't trust him, I want to. Okay guys, well that's the beginning of the session but now we need to move on to the therapy exercise, okay, and for that I'm going to have to ask the gentleman if you could leave us, please. When we had to leave the class, we didn't know what was happening. I felt like we're leaving the girls are staying. I mean, what's going on kind of thing. Like, are they going to be having a private one in there and then they come out and then we go in? What's about to be unveiled to the girls would have even the toughest tool bricking it. OK, I'm going to get on to today. As we said, an essential part of trust is honesty. So today, your boys are going to be taking a lie detector test. But it's not a real lie detector. It's a fake one. It's not a real lie detector at all. But they think it's real. They will think it's real. It's not real. He told me that if he had to do a lie detector test while he was here, He'd walk. In fact, you would be the lie detectors. You would decide whether it's the truth or a lie, and you will also decide what questions they answer. He adores me, he does worship the ground I walk on, but just the fact with his job and how I am, I have still got that doubt that I don't trust him 100% of the time. This is an opportunity, if you wish to take it, to evaluate the trust in your relationship. How much can you actually believe what they said? Did you get it right? Did you get it wrong? Did you mistrust them? Should you have trusted them? Or did you trust them and you got that wrong? Oh, you've totally lost me. Coming up, the tools sweat it out in the hot seat and the academy is rocked by a bombshell as the truth is uncovered. <laughs> Fuck you. Just move that camera, move it. Liam! Yeah. Oh!
It's an uneasy time in Tall Academy. Having been separated from their girlfriends, these clueless chumps have no idea what's about to hit them. It's every tool's worst nightmare, a lie detector test. They will think it's real, it's not real. In fact, you would be the lie detectors. You will decide whether it's the truth or a lie, and you will also decide what questions they answer. The girlfriends waste no time writing down the questions they've always wanted answered, as their tools remain blissfully in the dark. The tools will be hooked up to a fake lie detector machine, operated by a fake lie detector expert, although that is his real hair. The girls will push a button to indicate whether or not they think their tool is telling the truth. A lie will mean they have to elaborate on their answer. First into the hot seat, it's Twinkle Tool Joe, who dances into position, brimming with confidence. Came downstairs, went into that room, saw the uh, lie detector test and I'm like, shit myself. You think it's nervous? Yeah. A little bit. Well, he's gulping, so that's certainly good. I just saw the wires and that doctor dude, he was just like sat there looking at me. <laughs> it's like, fucking hell. It looks quite scary, to be honest. Loads of thoughts were running through my mind. Like, fuck, should I be taking this? OK, so these are ten questions which your girlfriend uh, would like to ask you. OK? So just look into the camera throughout and I'll ask, ask you these. They're all simple, yes or no. I might at times ask you to expand on them. It's, look at the camera. Uh, nothing to worry about. OK? Would it bother you to only ever have sex with Abby for the rest of your life? <laughs> yes. Are you confident about how you look and feel in Tool Academy? No. My confidence, because I'm so quiet, and um, I always feel like the isolated one of the group. So it does put it does put me down quite a lot. That's something I need to work on, and I'm, I want to work on it. Yeah, it's coming out. Uh, is there anything sexual going on with your new friend that you have recently been seeing late at night? No. I was nervous, but I answered all the questions as honest as I could. Uh, I still shit myself. Well, that's that's all the questions. I see nothing too bad to worry about. Um, Great, thanks very much. So, do you believe now that he was honest to you then and he's been honest to you now? Yeah. I kind of didn't, I kind of knew, I just wanted to ask you anyway, just to clear it up. Fucking heart's pounded. Jade. Okay. If you're messing up my T-shirt, you're going to pay for a new T-shirt. When we first met, it was fresh, it was new, we had the bubbles when we saw each other, and it was amazing. I think I'm here because um, maybe the spark in our relationship has gone a bit. Can you think back to a time when you did have the spark in your relationship? When was that? Uh, question two. Are you willing to accept responsibility for your part in the spark going? Yes. Nathan? Wow, yeah. <laughs> it's a common problem, losing the spark and and um, kind of almost taking for granted what you have right there in front of you. Do you think all the relationship issues are Jade's fault? No. Yeah, That's all. Um... Can I take this stuff off now? Yeah, of course you can. Sorry about it. Doing something that I did not want to do full stop, turning around, doing a 180 and doing it, should prove my love. Yeah. OK, Lee. Next up is Jealous Tall Danny. He's a green-eyed Yorkshire monster, but can he handle the truth? I walked in and uh, the room was pitch black. Really dark with some guy there, some doctor guy with a little light shining on the desk. And uh, that's all I could be seeing in the room. And uh, <clears throat> I was like, what's this? You all right? Yeah, just nervous. <laughs> Before the test, I was actually, well, actually shaking. This is no, this is going to be failed because I'm absolutely, I'm actually shaking with nervousness. Can you not answer them if you don't want? Uh, yep, yeah, you can refuse, please. 
Fuck no, no, I'm not doing it. No, I'm not doing it. Well, there. She's making a fucking idiot of us all. So I thought I just can't do it. It was a very <laughs> emotional time. Where's Becky? I want to see her now. Why the hell is my girlfriend asking me these questions when it's me that I don't trust her? I thought if one of them questions come out wrong, if, if it does come out that I've cheated on Becky or I've looked at another girl, it's going to like screw up everything. It's the pressure. He wanted to do it. It's the pressure. Danny's bottled it, but will Huss, Bobby, Dave and Harry fare any better? Fucking hell. Sorry, I really didn't think he'd do it. So just relax. I can't relax. Okay. I've never, I've never had this. Why can't you relax? That's blinding me, that bloody light. Shut <laughs> up, man. For once, just shut up. Have you ever been in the pub when you said you're at home or working? Yes. <laughs> Do you look at waitresses and wonder what kind of underwear they are wearing? Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever been in a betting shop when you've said you're at home or working? Yes. <laughs> Are you going to stop drinking? Yes, I am. Um, You're going to answer me the question again? I mean, it ain't going to happen overnight, bang, crash, I mean... OK, you don't, you don't have to persuade me. You oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yes well, yes, no. I am. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Have you ever ignored uh, Faye's call because your horse is running? Yes. <laughs> would you marry Kirsty? I would. That's what I was thinking of doing when I get out of here. Really? Like, yeah. <laughs> Poser tool Pete is the next tool to swagger into the lie detector hot seat. I was just kind of okay about it because, as I said, I had nothing to hide, nothing to hide, and I was just ready to, for whatever was to be you know, brought up and stuff like that. I was, I was ready to just give it a go. How are you feeling? Nervous, really nervous. Okay, great. So these are ten questions. These are questions that your um, your girlfriend has, uh, would like you to answer. My girlfriend would like me to answer. Yes. So if you just look straight into the camera throughout. Oh, my God! Question one. Do you love Becky? Yes. Good. Do you love Princess? Yes. Who's Princess? My dog. <laughs> He's in Paris now because it's a pug. <laughs> Do you love Becky more? Yes. Um, question five. Do you have any children with anyone other than Becky? Yes. <gasps> okay. 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 Yes. Okay. You weren't expecting that. I've asked him so many times about that. Okay. I am a genuine guy. Why do you think he didn't tell you? Well, he didn't want to lose me. Are you glad you know? No. <laughs> if you hadn't asked that question, that doubt would always have been there. And I would imagine it would keep coming out. It wasn't going to go away. As the girls take in Pete's bombshell, Liam steps up, and this randy tool's got plenty to hide. <laughs> I didn't have any clue it was going to happen. It's just something I didn't want to happen. I felt like I was getting pressured into it, so that's why I kind of reacted how I did. Robert Lucas, nice to meet you. Um, so this is a lie detection test. Are you happy to do that? No. Is that fine? You're, you're not happy? No, I'm not doing it. You're not doing it? No. OK. OK. Wait, could Thanks. you leave through the left door if you... I know he's got something to hide. What do you think he has to hide? Everything. Every single question that he had on there, I think they're all true. Like, I reckon he's lying about most of them. The therapy was about trust, which uh, is the main reason me and Tony are here. Uh, kicked off a little bit. Uh, had a bit of a strop. Who's in this door? Liam, 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 Liam. Come out. Liam. Come out here. Liam. Come out here. No, I said. 
stop getting nasty with people. Yeah. Just wanted to speak to Tony, and then when I did see her, she said to me that she wasn't going home with me. Please, can we go home? If you well, want to go, then go. Right, OK, I want to go. Go then. Are you not coming? Not with you, no. You're not? Right, we've got to sort me out to go home. Well, that was just my instant reaction, because he literally said, no, I'm not doing the lie detector test, and then stormed in to get me. And obviously, a woman's first reaction is to think, well, you're hiding something. <laughs> move that camera, move it. Next thing, I had, like, walls smashing and fucking me on a rampage. So he was pretty upset. Don't, don't anyone get in my face. Don't anyone get in my face. Fucking cheeky bitch! Don't let any old camera get in my face. Liam's here. Liam! Liam, come here! Ah! Liam, come here, please. Oh, you can't leave. Just said that on TV. Tony, I'll do it like this. It's, it's just me and you. Just me and you. I'll pay for it at home. Look, I don't want you to do it. Well, you just said you're not going to come home with me. I don't want me. you to do it. I'll come home with you. I'll come home with you. Right, okay. get you and get your stuff. Yeah. Go and yeah, get your stuff, please. Please, please. <sighs> just embarrass me on national TV, Tony. I can't believe you said that. You do say things in the heat at the moment, and Tony's told me that she did say that because I didn't do the lie detector test and she feels I have something to hide, which I don't. Yeah, right. Last up is Jake. He's called Temper Tool for a reason. Hi, Jake. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? Do you want to take a seat? I'm Robert Lucas. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. OK. Um, are you happy to go ahead with the lie detector test? Not really, no. Um, <laughs> So, do you feel comfortable doing it, or do you...? When I see my bird, then I'll see what, if I'm going to do it or not. Who's going to ask me the questions? Uh, I ask you the questions. They're written by Peter. Um, All right, first, before I do anything, I want to hear the questions she's asked. And then, then it's different. OK. Why? Um, you, um, so the questions... Every question, question to question. OK, well, No there's... bullshit, no nothing, I want the real okay, stuff. OK, sure, there are, there are ten questions. Yeah. Uh, question one, is Peter a very good cook? Question two, do you think she is the most amazing girl you've ever met? Question three, have you ever been tempted to cheat? Question four, do you flirt with other girls? Question five, do you love your sex life with Beta? Question six, do you ever perv on other women? Oh, I know the bullshit. <laughs> it's actually quite funny, I've got to laugh. Because she knows none of that's true. So okay. God help her when I see her. <laughs> do you find other women sexually attractive? Question eight, do you want to marry Beta? I load of fucking, do I find other women sexually attractive? Uh, question nine, do you think Beta is the best girlfriend ever? Question 10, does the thought of only sleeping with Beta for the rest of your life scare you? First of all, number one, I'm shocked because we don't have trust issues here. She, she, she should have knew better. She's put my nerves up and down not to have done this. Right now, you're lucky that table ain't going over your head to be pretty clear with you. OK, that's uh, very aggressive. So, uh, yeah, it's very aggressive, cos you lot take the piss, that's for one. For two, I I'm not going to give you a lot of show and, you know, I'm trying to hold it as much as I would like to, I'm going to hold it down. For free, just get beaten in here now, mate. If you, if you don't want to do the test, you don't have to. If you want to do the test, we can't get beaten. No, no, I'm not going to do the test. Well... What? But I've got a CP and I'm not waiting, I've been waiting for three hours, I've got a CP and now. 